We've been on a tour that brings the disaster right up close and we've seen uh, and heard the stories from the farmers that are still in some ways in the middle of this emergency. The loss that has been fe felt is absolutely profound and the best way to see that is to be on the ground with the farmers. Uh, we've shared tears this morning. Um, we've seen videos of destruction. And I think uh, from my perspective, uh, this has solidified the partnership that Minister Bebo and I have and our resolution to make sure we find a solution to help people as soon as possible. Uh, farmers want to get back to work. That's one message that we've received and we need to figure out a way to support them now and into the future so that they can. Food security in British Columbia and Canada is top of mind for people and farmers have fed us for years and years and now it's the time for us to have their back to make sure that they continue doing that. It is uh, very impressive to see the scale of, of what happened here and the fact that the water was so high, it lasted so long, so it created, uh, you know, the, the, the impact are more and more, much more important than a normal flood would have, you know, just going up and down overnight or so. Uh, when it lasts longer, obviously, uh, the damage are much more significant. Uh, it affected the business, it affected their animals, it affected their own, own house and family and community. So it's, it's the whole community who's being affected. And even if they are being hurt, impacted directly, they still find the strength to help each other. This is very impressive. 100% I do think it was constructive because they were able to actually see what's happening. Instead of it being a phone call, a Zoom call, they're able to come out to the farms and actually see the devastation and see what's happening to the farmers. Also, the resilience of the farmers that have been able to rebuild and reconstruct to a point where they can be in production. Um, this drives home to them what still needs to be done and how they can better help us here in the prairies. So we need proper flood mitigation. We need proper consultation. There's been reports about the diking systems. It needs to be properly looked at. We need funding from the federal government. We need funding from the provincial government to protect the farmers out here. This shouldn't happen and I know that we're able to protect ourselves from this ever happening again.